Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today's video is talking about products that were my holy grail, some of them for years, uh, things that I did in the past that maybe I've done for years that I've either replaced the product with or done things a little bit different way. So I thought I would talk about it. I'm pretty set in my ways and I'm pretty set in my routine, like pretty much my skincare. Y'all know it's probably gonna be the same the rest of my life. I mean, periodically I can do an update on here and talk about it, but these are, skincare is gonna be stuff that I don't talk about quite as much as I do other things because I just don't change it. I'm satisfied, it's been a journey to get to that point and I'm, I'm pretty much done with it. Now, as I go through the years and get more and more wrinkles, I may add more and more things to it, and I will do a new video when that happens. So, that one's done. But other things, hair especially, uh, makeup especially, eyeshadows, stuff like that especially, I, you know, I, I'm always experimenting. I have a YouTube channel, so I like to try to experiment and show new things, and sometimes those new things will take over. Now, most of the time it doesn't. Most of the time I like what I originally talked to you all about, so this is it, this is the one I love. But occasionally there have been ones that something better came along, so I thought I would talk about those. Now the first one is Lancome Stick Foundation. Y'all know of the past several years I've talked about this foundation it just gives it just gives such a polished look I love it I love it and I still love it but I have found something that I like even better and I never thought that would be possible and this that is this NARS foundation that I found out about I guess it was this year it is the light reflecting foundation I have it in the color Santa Fe, good color match, and oh my goodness, does it give a beautiful glow to your skin. I do Instagram stories pretty much every day, and I wear this pretty much every day, and almost at least once a week, someone will say, what's that foundation you're wearing? I like the glow that it gives, and it's when, when they ask me that, it is always this from NARS. It's just, I am so glad I found it. The nice thing about it is a liquid foundation, you go through a stick foundation a lot quicker and have to buy it a lot faster than you do a liquid foundation. I probably go through twice of these, two of these as I would one of these. So I like that, that it's going to last longer and it just gives a beautiful glow to the skin. I, I wear it just plain, no powder over it. I love it. I really do. And um, I just can't say enough good things about it. So it has, surprisingly to me, replaced as my beloved right now, this stick foundation. Y'all know how over the years I have loved, and I've gone through boxes and boxes of this. This is the Rocketeur Blush by Benefit. It's a gorgeous blush. I've talked about it. I've worn it. It's just amazing, amazing, amazing blush. However, I recently tried and love, love this Melt Cream Foundation in the color Honey Thief. This foundation is the best cream foundation for going on easily. I take this slanted what brush is this? I need to talk about this brush. It's the Large Angled Brush by Lux. It's a great brush, but I just dab it on twice, dab it on my cheeks, and that's done. It, I, that's always been the problem for me with cream foundations. You put it on, and it's, it sort of has a consistency of lipstick, and you either wipe off too much or not enough, or you're pulling at your skin, you have to add more. I just, I always got frustrated with it, so I just didn't wear them, even though I think they're so pretty. This one's different. It acts even better than a powder. It's, it's just beautiful. Let me show it, if it'll, if it'll catch it. And it just gives such a nice, subtle glow to your, to your cheeks, to kind of that healthy look. And on it, I found another Holy Grail that 
I, I've never really worn them too much before, but I found a holy grail that I love to wear of the um, highlighting powder. And I talked about it in my favorites. But the combination of this NARS foundation with this melt blush and this highlighter on top, it, it, is, it, does something, it does something terrific to your skin. I don't put on any powders with it or anything. I just let that glow come through and I'm, I'm tickled now. I really am. Uh, these three products are just what my skin has been craving. <laughs> now, I really, I really like them a lot. So three new holy grails for my complexion. Now, I said something that I don't change skincare, so I'm gonna take that back slightly. I've always loved Shiseido cleansers, and for years I talked about the brightening one. It's a foaming brightening cleanser. Well, they discontinued it, and I tried several others uh, that just didn't measure up, and so I went to the men's, and I'm through with this one. I went to the men's cleanser, foaming cleanser. It did a great job, and I've just been really happy with it. I've talked to you all about it cheaper price. I just really like it a whole lot. However, <laughs> recently someone said, try this Shiseido clarifying cleansing foam. And I thought, well, the other one that I really liked is brightening. This is clarifying. Not really the same thing, but I'm going to give it a go. Yes. This is the one. This is very, very close to that brightening one that I loved. This is just pretty much hitting the nail on the head with the brightening one that I loved. Let me show you up close. The men's was a good, stronger version of the brightening, but this one is back to the brightening again, I feel like. The Clarifying Cleansing Foam. This is my new Holy Girl Cleanser. Okay, I've talked a lot about my derma rolling. And the Derma Roller that I've loved and love is Sidara. And I liked it because you could take the head off and buy just the head and then put it back on the handle. But the only size that I could ever find that they sold was 0.25. So let me backtrack a little bit. When I cut way down on my hormone replacement therapy, I do a little patch of estrogen on my skin. That's, that's what I use. But I wanted to go on to even lower dose, even though it's just on my skin, I wanted to go on to a lower dose, uh, to be on the lowest dose possible, but still reap any benefits from it. So when I did that, my hair just, I swear an eighth of it fell out. It, it was amazing. It was almost interesting, not being, not being, you know, looking at it clinically, it was almost interesting how much came out. And so, particularly on either side right here, right above my temple, bald, completely bald. So, that's when I started really doing the, I had been doing the nioxin and stuff, but I thought I better add something, and I added the derma roller and it just did a great job. But as the hair started coming back in again from this derma rolling and the other things I was doing, I couldn't feel it as much because there was some hair there, so I wanted to go up to a stronger one. Long story getting around that to say, I don't use this one anymore. I've gone up to one from Gin Amber. I had heard that Gin Amber products were really good, so I did try the derma roller. 0.5. It's stronger than the one that I had before. I really like it. It doesn't come with a disposable head, but it is stronger. I really like it. It just seems to be a good quality. And when I roll my scalp, I can really feel it again. And so I feel like it's starting to stimulate things again. And then after that, I still use my scalp and, uh, scalp and hair treatment from Nioxin. I think for me, these two things have really made a difference, especially on those spots. I mean, I was, it was slick. It was, it was just bald right there, so on each side. So I really have enjoyed it. Now, it's thinner there than the rest of my hair, but this has really helped to this and the nioxin. So my new Derma Roller is my new Holy Grail from Gin Amber. Now, speaking of hair, this is something that I have been trying to do. I love this curling iron. It's a two inch, it gives, you know, great big, it keeps, it straightens your hair, it takes out, you know, helps take out the frizz. Uh, 
and gives you some, you know, gives you some body and some oomph to your hair. But I don't shampoo my hair every day, and so I don't want to use it every day. And the next day, my hair is either frizzy or it's flat or I've slept on it funny or it just does funny the next day and it's just not as nice. So I don't want to use this every day. So here's what I've been doing to replace it without using heat. When I get up on the second day, third day hair, whenever, I, I roll my hair on the Velcros again, like I would after I did the curling iron. I will take the curling iron, take a piece and put a roller in it. I've shown it several different times. This time, I'll pull it up and spray the root a little bit with a little bit of the uh, Fashion Work by Redken. I've talked about it before. And then I'll put my Velcro on and I do it all over my head, just like I'm rolling it on hot rollers or something. And I get in the shower. And I've always been real careful not to really get my hair wet or get my face wet in the shower. So I will wash myself all over and, you know, do my shower all around like that to rinse myself off. And then I'll wash my face with my fingers splashing the water on. That way my hair doesn't ever get wet. But that steam sets your hair like crazy. And you're not using like a curling iron or a blow dryer or anything like that on it. But it sets, if you want me to, I'll do a video and show you how I do it. But you setting it on Velcro rollers and then getting it in the shower, it just, that steam, it, it's, it does an amazing job setting your hair and you take it down, you haven't used all that heat. You know, you've just used the steam. Uh, I did it, I remember doing it back in the 80s. My girlfriend and I did it because we just didn't have curling irons and stuff as much back then and we, realized we needed to do something to get some oomph in the second day. And so that's what we started doing was get in the shower with the, well, we used the brush rollers back then and took the brush out and then, you know, put it up and then step, step in the shower. But if you'll do this, as soon as you get up while you're drinking your coffee or eating your breakfast or something, stick these rollers in, then go take your shower, put on your makeup, and then the last thing you do is take down your rollers, you'll have you a new hairstyle. Now, it's, it's amazing. But let me know if you want me to do a video on it. But here's another thing that I do uh, that I've sort of substituted. I've talked that I really like this oil, and it is Oral Flowy, though. It's a wonderful one. It smells good. It does a great, great job on your hair. But sometimes I have a little bit of trouble with oils because it makes my ends sort of separate. It makes my hair a little bit stringy. What I've been using sometimes that has become a holy grail that I used for years, I've just rediscovered it, is the Bumble and Bumble Brilliantine. It is a cream and you just take, oh, a little bitty bit, pea size, something like that, run it through your fingers and then do it through your hair and it will take the frizz out. I have very, very fine hair and when you have fine hair that has curl in it, you're gonna get a lot of frizz. And if you have fine hair, your hair is fly away anyway. Just think how a child's hair is, how fly away it is. Well, that's the way my hair is. So if I put products on it too much to try to calm it down or moisturize the ends or something, it's just gonna get stringy. I mean, bad stringy like a child's would. So if I can find something more lightweight to take care of the problem of the frizz and add some protection and moisture to it, then, then I'm, you know, I'm happy and this one does that. I still like this a lot, especially when it gets really dry and I need the extra, but I use this on wet hair. I use this on dry hair. I will take, I mean, sometimes like if I've rolled my hair or done something or I've slept on it funny wrong right there, I can just take just a tad and do it like that and it will just make it look so pretty. It just really adds a little bit of a nice dressing to it, you know, dresses it up a little bit. So I really like this a lot. Uh, still use this some, but I find that I'm using this even more and I feel like it kind of protects from the heat a little bit too. But if you need some light, light moisture, this added on to your regular stuff, this is really good. You leave it in just like you would uh, any other leave-in product, just use a little bit, but it's good. Okay, the next one, mascaras. Uh, I have used, off and on for years, it was really always been a holy grail, is the Estee Lauder Waterproof Mascara. 
you know, and it just does great. It doesn't smudge underneath or anything. And But waterproof mascaras are a little harder to get off, and you have to pull at your eyes more and stuff. And it's, you know, you get up the next morning, and you look at yourself, and you realize, I didn't get it all off. You know, it's just kind of a pain. So I do like one that you can just rinse off with water and then clean up any smudges that are left behind. Um, you know, that's, that's what I prefer to do. I had a harder time with the ones that were not waterproof smudging on me. But I recently did a video and tested like between the Superhero and the MAC. And I have to say, although I love the MAC, I have really rediscovered as my holy grail, again, this Superhero mascara. And how I'm making it work now is I'm taking the Estee Lauder little black primer and put it up underneath underneath and that just takes care of any smudges you can wear any mascara if you use this underneath first if you have eyelashes that are prone to smudge underneath you can use you can use any mascara and so the mascara i'm choosing to use as my holy grail is this superhero by it cosmetics i, I really like this the other thing that when i tried it before besides any smudging that i didn't like was it it gets a little grimy and a little yucky around the cap well i just had this little fiber microfiber little cloth and i just wipe it off i use it to wipe my brushes off in between times you know when i'm uh, changing eyeshadow colors and then i'll periodically just wipe this off and it just keeps it as clean as it can be so uh, it is my holy grail mascara now um, i love that mac it's really good and i will use it up but I find that I don't, you know, the MAC is, you can stack it on and put layer after layer. I find that I just don't do that. I just put one layer on and for a good first layer, I like, I like this, the superhero. I think that's it. I think I probably have some more and over the next month, if I see that I have more, I'll jot them down and maybe in the future do this video again. So. Uh, anyway, those are my new holy grails, and I hate to present them to me to you, but you know when I've talked about other things before, but I always want to be up front and say, well, I don't really like that as much anymore. I still like it, but I like something new better. So I wanted to share it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I sure do appreciate it. I hope y'all are all well and stay cool. It's starting to turn really hot, and uh, I appreciate it. And talk to y'all soon. Bye bye.